Hi, I'm Raven Zamora, market strategist for MetroBank Private Wealth. Today, I'd like to discuss our view on peso interest rates. Local peso interest rates measured by the return or yield on risk-free government securities across different maturities or tenors have increased sharply this year. For example, the yield of a three-year treasury bond rose to a high of 5.3% last June, which is nearly 80% higher than the yield of a similar tenored bond in mid-January when it was trading at 3% yield. Yields on longer dated treasury bonds have also climbed with those of five year and seven year treasury bonds up 54% and 47% respectively from their levels in January. In large part, this is due to record high supply of government bonds uh, since 2020, which has been needed to fund record high fiscal spending that continues to support the economy as it recovers post-pandemic. Naturally, when a borrower, which in this case is the national government, needs to borrow a lot, the lenders, or in this case, bond investors, will demand a higher rate of return to be compelled to lend, or in this case, buy those bonds. On a net basis, the national government through the Bureau of Treasury sold over 1.56 trillion pesos worth of bonds in 2020, followed by 1.4 trillion pesos worth of bonds in 2021, which is four times higher than what the national government had sold before the pandemic in 2019. The size was only 349 billion pesos. This year, the size of government borrowing is smaller at 1.2 trillion pesos, but that's still elevated. But going forward, we do expect uh, the size of government borrowings to start tapering, meaning the government won't need to borrow as much as the Philippine economy recovers. Given this, we believe that we're close to the peak in bond yields, if not already, and hence recommend that investors lock in these yields when they rise again. In particular, we suggest buying four-year bonds at a yield of 5.875% or higher, seven-year bonds at a yield of 6.3% or higher, and 10-year bonds at a yield of 6.5% or higher. For more details, please refer to our recent articles on long-dated passive government securities using the links below. Thank you.